Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, I did a haul video, a collective dollar dollar store haul, and I showed you these Leisure Art color pencils. Um, like I said in the video, I've never used Leisure Art before, so I don't think I have at least, and if I have, I don't remember. So we're gonna go with I never have. So I'm, this is going to be like a review and a color situation. So first thing is they are not labeled. And you know how I feel about pencils not being labeled or markers and such not having real names on them. So um, I am not going to do a swatch because I want to do this coloring situation right here. I guess I could do a swatch though, right? That only makes really good sense to do a swatch. So let's go ahead. I'm guessing this is brown. Let's see. Let me do something really quick. Okay, so I put them in a little bit of better order for me. Red. You know, I just did Roy G. Biv, kind of. So I put all the reds together. Yellow. So looking at the color pencils, it's 24 in the pack. And you get kind of more than a similar color. Just looking at them right here. Um, you only get one white, one gray, one black. You get kind of two browns, I guess. And you get one, two, three, four purples. If I were to go with purples like that. And then you get four green colors and three blues. Even though this is closer to blue-green. You get like two orangey colors, two yellow colors. One true red and two or three pinky colors. I'm wondering if the barrel, the color that's wrapped around the color pencil is actually going to be that color. So let's go ahead and get started and we're going to work backwards. So all I'm doing um, is making a box and a line because we're going to kind of keep this moving. So no, this one does not look like that too much. It looks a little bit more lighter in pencil, although this one matches fairly well. I don't really need to do the white, but you know, for continuity, <laughs> it looks white. Although it's a little gray on this paper, this is um, Georgia Pacific 110 I picked up from Walmart. But I actually found this at like a discount store. It was an open pack. And the guy gave it to me for like three bucks, which was great. Although I think I like the, this match as well. But I think I like the paper from Joanne Fabric. They have a hundred pages. And this black is not really a good black in my opinion. I mean, it's black. And what do you expect for a dollar? What was it? 69? Yep. So... You know, I expect for it to do what it says it's going to do. I have the case of drops today. All right, so that's pretty okay. Ooh, deeper. All right. All right. Oh, this is a blue. Definitely a blue color. <laughs> So this does not match that at all. Not at all. Look at it. So those don't match. So this is blue. But as we're getting in that color spectrum, I guess that makes a little bit sense. If I had actually did, you know, like true Roy G. Biv. Even though I watched something and see this is more down here. So that color does not really match the ba the barrel. So you can see. It doesn't look like a dark blue. It looks purple. Definitely not a dark blue color, although that's what it is coming off as on this paper. So we got this green going on. More green. This one matches up pretty well. The greens actually match the barrel pretty decently so far. And they color like, mm, not really impressed yet with them, I guess. Oh, this one broke. You can see that. 
and I am doing the same amount of pressure on all of them. This one matches the color as well on the barrel. This does not match. And these almost look alike. I could probably do some blending with those. So I'm going to put this one aside and let's see if this is that blue again. Nope. It's this one. Yep. Put those aside. This one matches pretty well. Even looking back at this, you see the lead does not match up with that. So that's interesting. Very interesting. Although this lead matches up <laughs> with this color, kind of, and it's still not the same color. So that is really strange, I guess. So here we go with blue. This is a lighter blue than I thought it was going to be. No, they don't match up. I guess when you, this color orange comes off really, really nice. That probably was the easiest color to lay down. So I guess the oranges may be a little bit more pigmented. In my opinion, they could have kept these two oranges out of the color and threw in a different brown maybe. Um, because they are almost the exact same almost the same. This is just a shade darker Let's see if I found my yellow that I've been complaining about This is a close yellow to what I want I've always been talking about and this comes off really nice. It colors out really really nicely um, This is more of a lemony color and I'm not mad at this color either Very nice and it matches really good so to no, this is the color is a little bit darker on the outside, which is to be expected, I suppose. I was not expecting this color. I was expecting for it to be a little bit lighter, as you can see. It is not. It is definitely a purpley color. More so with these two, they look like they match up a lot better. See? It matches almost the exact same. So I'm going to put that to the side. I think that was this color. Was it this one? Yeah. So I'll put those to the side. And usually the reason why I'm putting them to the side is because they look exactly the same. Like, you know, almost you, I would just want to see if I can blend them in really, really quickly. So this looks like a dry pink. Um, it is pink, but it looks just dry. It doesn't look, hmm, how can I explain? explain it like you see this one it kind of looks more so it looks matte that's how i'll say it oh this is a good um red was not expecting that color either it does not match up with the barrel this one does match up with the barrel but it's not shiny i thought it would be more shiny and then the last red here we go And this red is dry as well. It looks matte. So the color and these colors almost are the same too. So they could have kept these two out. Actually, these three colors probably could just pick one color and went from there if you can tell the difference. So I'm going to go ahead and really quickly um, do these two. Try to blend in, blend these colors in real quick. So... on very light no my normal um handedness i guess you could say when i'm uh, blending or attempting to blend can you even see that like they look it looks the same it looks like the same crayon or the same color almost it just looks like i went a little bit lighter so these in my opinion you know they they weren't needed i guess i need to start doing more um blending so if i need i'm not blending more color swatches when i first get them this color would be great if i needed a little bit light of a shade you see they look exactly the same exactly the same <laughs> i do like blue i like that color is very pretty but mm, i'm not mm, i don't know not too impressed with um i did the purple first didn't i so we'll do purple first. 
again, colors almost look exactly the same. So I, I do think I should be doing more swatches when I um, purchase these color pencils, markers, or whatever. Not saying that I won't use them again. In my opinion, these look exactly the same. I can't even tell where one ends and starts. So they blend nicely. So if I needed to color something pink or purple, these would be good to you. So even though it's 24 crayons, I feel like these two are the closest to being the exact same. So really, did I need two colors of the same one? No, not at all. So I'm not going to color a lot, but I am going to color just a little bit. And since we have this purple, these two purples, I'm going to use this purple pink right here, this neon pink, even though it's not, <laughs> it's purple. And then I'm going to take my yellow and then this green right here, um, the one that broke on me. And I'm not sure what's going on with this. Um, I got this pitch from Nerdy Mama. Um, I, I'll link her information in the description box. But I'm not sure if this is a unicorn or a Pegasus or I don't know. I don't know. It has these little this little hook on there, so maybe it's a unicorn. Maybe it's a horse pretending to be a unicorn, pretending to be a Pegasus. I don't know. It's really pretty though. I like the picture. Um, or I wouldn't have downloaded it. You know, went to her site and logged in and did all the other stuff to color it and such. So um, I'm not a unicorn person, um, but I like them. Like. You won't see me run and grab a unicorn first thing <laughs> to craft with. So whenever I, whenever you see things that are not my normal element, I usually have people in mind. So it colors, they color okay. And I did pick the colors I want to use on this picture, this project, because after I finish the review, I'm going to finish coloring this up. So, you know, this is a small surface. It colors fairly decently I don't feel like I'm forcing a color down it it is going on rather smoothly for the sake of smoothness in comparison to my Prisma color pencils there's no comparison when it comes to the creaminess of those colors you know I always tell you that um, they're super creamy <laughs> um, and it feels like a color a crayon was just shammed it you know, into a pencil, which I, I like it. Um, but this, they go on very nicely. Let's see. Now let me try to color this. And I'm not using any markers, as you can tell. These are just the Leisure Art color pencils. So for the most part, this color does go on very, very smoothly, very nicely for what I'm doing. And I believe that this paper is Michael's 65 pound. No, this is 110 cardstock as well. And I think, I don't think this is Joanne. I can't remember. Um, I think it's just the Georgia Pacific. But it goes on really nicely. Not too harsh on the paper. So that's really good. very nice let's see if I can't do some um, so now that I, I only have these two colors out these four colors but you know in my opinion just two I want to see if it is a variation in them because I'm going to color these little flowers oh the blue is extra creamy <laughs> it seems to be more pigmented than um, when I did the swatch I hope that makes sense like it only because I did a little circle you know the little square but this actually goes on really really nicely I did not know actually I did know Leisure Arts made other things but I like I said I only really know Leisure Arts for their book their books their craft books so when I saw this in the store I was just like oh let me try these out of nothing sponsored I pay for all this on my own <laughs> so yes all with my own cash my own little dollars so you know it's no 
um, no problem getting into the nooks and crannies. I like the lead. The pencil is fairly decent, fairly light. No, no, um, no complaints thus far on this. Very nice to color down, put color down. Very inexpensive. You know, even if you're buying this for your children, this would be good to use if you don't want them to use your, maybe you have artist gray stuff. You know, the other day I was coloring something and the Prisma color pencils that I have, they are truly artist grade. The price, oh my goodness. And I let the little roommate color with me. He wanted to color with me. So I've been just printing off the same exact page and letting him color with me i um he does have regular crayola crayons and all those other things but i i felt like if he wants to color with mommy he can all right so let's try this one i messed up by putting that on there and i was trying to figure out how i can incorporate this other blue this blue which i think is going to come out the exact same way um without messing up my picture so what I think I'll do is just go ahead and color these flowers and stop crying about it. So I'm not even sure if you can tell because I can't tell the difference. You see, I feel like it's the exact same color, exactly the same color. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one and this one. Yeah, it looks the same to me, everyone. So that I don't like. Um, I feel like they could have did better at that portion of, you know, testing out the colors a little bit better. This is definitely not this color on here and neither is this. So this, the color pencils themselves don't match up to the barrel that they have, you know, the coating that they have wrapped around the barrel. This does, and let's see, because I want to um use this for her the the horse this is a boy horse even though he has a lot of pinks going pinks and purples in my opinion he's a male um i think most all my unicorns that i color except if i say they're girls because you, you see he doesn't have like fancy eyes or lashes for that matter let's see let me color down here see this is the same in my opinion can you see that it's the same color. So for that, I don't like, I don't like that at all. I feel like they could have done a lot better with the colors. Um, do they go on nice? Yes. A dollar, you know, rounding up to $2 or a dollar 75, a dollar 70 is a good price to pay for 24 color pencils. The pigmentation of them is really nice. It does come off really good. Um, I didn't try any smearing because I normally don't do that on my regular papers either. So, um, it doesn't come off my, on my hands at all. It's just shiny. I did put some lotion on earlier because I was ashy, mac ashy. So rubbing it doesn't do anything. So overall, I think they're okay to use for a dollar and 69 cents plus tax. So that, you know, that's okay. But the two, those four color pencils, I don't really care for and the reason why I'm saying it's four because it's not just one color it's four colors that are similar in color so these are similar and these are similar so you know if they could have just put two different colors in and even maybe um, taken out one of these reds and gave us something you know a different color um, I understand that we're working with the primary colors and then from there we have secondary and tertiary colors but i feel like leisure arts knows colors you know they have all these books different people that they can could have consulted with because we have one two three we have four greens right so we have four greens we didn't need four greens and then we have these two colors right all three of these reds look the same in my opinion um they're just a little bit lighter so we don't need all of those and so two colors of each is fine even these blues these two blues or even this blue right here they look the same 
as well. So the blues are almost all the same. So, um, yeah, I think they could have done a little bit better with the colors, um, in my opinion. Would I buy these again? No, I would not. Um, even if they were a dollar, I wouldn't purchase them again unless I'm doing some type of people saying, hey, can you pick these colors up for me? That would only be the only reason why, you know, only re way I would do it because I have so many other color pencils. I just want to try them out and see how they would be. Um, the price is good. You know, if this is your first set of color pencils, yes, go ahead and get them because you're going to use more than one color. But, you know, they could have gave us two different, the black could be darker. The black could definitely be a lot more black versus this ashy gray looking color. And then, um, you know, the purples that we got, mm, not to, not to impress this color right here is probably the only purple. These two purples are only two purples and they're far away from each other. They're not like next door neighbors like these two. You can't even tell, like you cannot even really tell the difference and I'm not a colorist when it comes to knowing pigmentation and things like that so I, I don't know the formulas anything like that but I would not buy them again only because I feel like I've been shorted some color pencils I like them I like the price on them but I would not repurchase them um thank you all for watching until next time happy crafting